So I need a place for these um, emus and these alpacas to go. Now I would put them here, um, however, there is a lot of room left in, in, in Yakiton. We can see there's pasture animals only 13 out of 24. So we can actually cut down that size a bit, um, just by going remove designation and cut down a little bit of it. Actually, I think I might have to just redo the whole thing in fact. Yeah, I have to redo the whole thing. Okay, so that's not going to be too much of a problem. So we've just got this area for the yaks. We can fit, um, I believe it's 20. Yeah, we can fit 20 animals there, um, which is going to be great. Now onto the emus and the alpacas. So we're going to put the emus in just about here. Um, we're going to go ahead and put the three. Uh, we actually got three emus, which is amazing. Um, I think we want to put the max. Okay, there's a bit of a bug here. Um, emu... Ville. That's an amazing place. So there's a bit of a bug here where when I try and choose the max males when I've just created um, a pasture, it actually just, like, I try and go up and down for the max and the um, max males and females, and it doesn't actually work. So I think we have to actually get out of that menu um, and then go back in, and then it seems to work. Um, so that's great. Now we're probably going to put a maximum of about three males in here, and the rest of them just going to be females. Now let's go ahead and do um, the alpacas. So the one lonely alpaca is going to live in here. Um, we'll just set, okay, that's going to break again. Um, now, Alpaca. So this place is going to be called Alpacatron. I don't know why, but that's the thing that I thought of. Um, and we're going to go ahead and set that to be, I don't know, two males and the rest of them are females. So we can see that the, the alpacas and the emus, where are they? Okay, they should be roaming. Oh, actually, they need a rancher. That's funny. They actually need a rancher to escort them over to their um, their little places, um, which is a little bit funny. Um, but that actually makes sense because wild animals don't always do um, what you want them to. We can see the yaks here um, are actually basically not pastured. And the reason, because that is, I, d I had to undesignate and then redesignate um, their pastures, which means they basically forgot where they lived, um, and we have to wait for the ranchers to come back and put them all into their rightful places, um, which is going to take a bit of a while, but sometimes we can see that beautiful emu um, with her beautiful white coat is going to be just running in. We can see the training going on here. Um, I think we will switch this over to uh, back to the moon coils of gold, and we'll put the butchered shadows back onto um, this guard station. So we can see down below our planks are almost ready, um, and we've got um, our planks going in um, just around the Great Hall. Not quite yet, um, but it will get done soon and we can see blocks are actually sitting right here but hopefully they will get moved um, soon enough um, so hopefully we can actually place the walls without too much trouble and we can see this whoa whoa what what oh what what is he what is he doing oh is there are there multiple soldiers sitting here Okay, so we can see a bunch of soldiers are actually sitting here, um, and I guess they're switching out stuff for new stuff, um, which is a little bit weird. Um, look at them, they're like quickly changing armor, getting dressed and undressed and naked, and that's, that's, that's really strange. Our crossbows are finally done. We can see we've got two crossbows, um, and they're actually sitting right here, so we're going to have to go ahead and get the best people um, in the military for that job. So we can see Furious is actually a 13 rated with the crossbow, so we're going to let him go as the first person with a ranged weapon. So we have a brand new squad called the Ripe Slugs. Now the formation, we're going to have to create a brand new one, which is going to be called um, Ranged Cross... No, we'll just go Ranged, um, because that's going to be able to um, do us. Now keep your eyes open, increase vision range, shield wall, the best defense. Firing squad, increase range damage for each member with a ranged weapon. That is probably the best thing that we're going to be able to get. Um, the leaders are going to be... Okay, so we need new positions. Uh, we're going to go with a brand new one. This is going to be called crossbow. Now the crossbow is going to maintain his distance, he's going to retreat, um, he's not going to assist the squad leader, he probably sh oh, he probably should pursue lost targets, um, but yeah, that might get him in a little bit of trouble, but we'll see how that works out. So in the positions we can actually see we have marks, gnome, sharpshooter, and aim for the eyes. These are three different things that we can use for the, um, for the ranged guys. Now I think I'm going to go for one person marks known because that increases the range weapon, the range at which they can shoot, and the accuracy. So one person's going to be a marks gnome, and we're actually going to call it marks gnome. And the next one, whoop, that's got to have an S in there. Um, and the next guy, which is going to be, I guess, sharpshooter. Now the sharpshooter perk um, actually allows increased damage with distance. So this guy is going to be hopefully as far as he can. Um, I don't know if he should pursue lost targets. Okay. He should. Okay, so retreating, bleeding. Now the uniforms. Going to create a brand new uniform just for ranged people, um, which is going to be great. Uh, once we get guns, they will also be using this. I think these guys should probably just be wearing leather, but 
having oh so, so I'm going to put them all on leather just for now and we can see in the left and the right hand um, we can either place the flintlock pistol which we do not have invented yet um, the crossbow or the blunderbuss so we can't actually just say um, any ranged weapon like we can with two-handed and one-handed so we're going to have to just create this one to actually be called crossbows so the position of Mark's gnome is going to get the uniform of the crossbow and so is the sharpshooter so the ranged formation is going to go ahead and um, everyone is going to, oh, I think we'll have a Mark's Gnome and then a Sharpshooter on second um, and then the rest of them can basically probably be, be Mark's Gnomes um, because increasing whoop, increasing damage um, and accuracy is probably just the best thing um, for pretty much everyone. We're going to want these guys to perform attack orders and defend our Gnomes. So the ripe Slugs is going to get the, the ranged, everyone's going to be either a Mark's Gnome or a Sharpshooter. Now we can see here that um, there is actually a much quicker way to actually do some things when you're trying to sort out who has the best um, who has the best proficiencies in what. So we can see Furious has 13 with a crossbow and he's already marked as a soldier so he's going to be the Marks Gnome and the Sharpshooter could be anyone basically. Um, I'm just going to go through quickly and find someone who is really good with the crossbow. So JLC is a 12 with the crossbow. Most other people um, were in fact less than 10. Um, so he's going to be probably the best choice that we can go with. JLC, we're also going to have to um, make sure that he gets um, enlisted into the military as well. So JLC is definitely going to get the soldier um, profession because he is not going to be doing anything um, except defending us. Now those guys are going to go pick up those quivers. We can act. Oh my god! How how freaking awesome does that look? Oh my, oh my god, I can't believe this. Okay, so I'm going to stop having a nerdgasm over the way that that gnome looks, because um, that is just incredible. Um, I guess probably he's probably confused now, because I'm going to tell him to not wear, um, wear that copper armor, but he might not. He's just going to run out and basically sit in the Great Hall until we actually... Um, actually tell him where he should be. So just for right now, we're going to create a little guard area for these guys um, just in here, just to make sure they're at the front. Um, this is going to be a very temporary thing. Um, it's just, just going to be um, something that we can have them there as opposed to being in the Great Hall. Um, we're going to go ahead and just remove this so that we can actually create this um, higher platform, raised platform that we're going to have. Um, so we're going to ma make stairs here. Then we're going to have um, the, the walkway and a little guard area where people can stand. We can see there, there are our two guys. They, they are so great. Um, they, they're going to be doing such a great service for us. Um, I think we should probably put them. No, we'll just leave them with leather on because they're not going to be. Um, we don't want them to be weighed down or anything um, with, with, with heavy armor or anything like that. So while waiting to get some of the foundation work um, for this ranged attack area, we're just going to go downstairs um, and place some of these beds. We can actually see almost all of the rooms are actually done now. This one is left with logs and um, that is unfortunately because using too many wood planks um, on these rooms is going to be a little bit um, a little bit too expensive so I'm just going to have one room with logs. So you can see I'm just mining out some extra rooms for our brand new ranged guys and we can also see that I've placed um, some brand, brand new beds. They're actually four poster beds which is amazing um, and we've also got um, just some, some extra replaced floors happening here and also in here um, with the birch planks. So that's going to be what's going to be happening um, downstairs in the bedroom um, because there's always lots of stuff going on in this kingdom. Um, so I want to thank all you guys for watching. My name is Ninja Dupified. This guy is still really just doing some, some really strange stuff. Um, hopefully he can fix his problem. Um, I don't even know who that is. It's like a bunch of soldiers um, kind of really doing nothing. They should actually be guarding this station out here. But for some reason they're over there. My name is Ninja Dupified and I'll see you guys next time.